。好，第二十八條呢，就係、是、有關於生長素如何去運輸嘅。今次我哋嘅研究對象呢，就係、是、一啲幼苗嘅茎啊。咁我哋喺呢個幼苗呢，就分別擺兩款唔同類型嘅鉛脂，一款呢，就係乜都冇嘅鉛脂，另一嚿嘅鉛脂呢，就係滲咗一啲有放射性元素嘅生長素，然後就擺一個框嘅唔同位置啦。咁我哋呢有四款擺法嘅，就分別呢將呢個 A、B 呢係垂直擺，同埋呢係反轉咗嚟擺嘅。咁題目都有講到嘅，陰影位置嘅深淺色呢，就代表住佢係有多或者少嘅放射性元素喺當中嘅，即係越多放射性元素嘅生長素呢，佢就越深色啦。次呢又係問我哋啦，從結果得出結論喎。咁其實成條題目呢，我哋首先要留意返一樣嘢先。究竟我哋去觀察緊嘅係啲咩呢？今次嘅實驗嘅 DV 究竟係啲咩嘢呢？其實就係個生長素嘅移動方向。咁我哋要得出結論啊嘛，咁啊，梗係睇一睇啲結果先啦。咁啊 ，set up 一同四呢，其實俾我哋知道啦。原來個生長素呢，向下行又得，向上行都得㗎喎。咁都係呢，由 A 呢個方向去 B 呢個方向嘅。個生長素呢，係唔能夠由 B 呢個位置落到去 A 呢個位置㗎喎、哦，或者行上去 A 呢個位置㗎喎、哦。咁我哋呢，一四二三呢，一對對呢，有個概念先。咁而家啦，做咗擊破咯。第一句就話啦，生長素嘅運輸呢，係不受地心吸力影響嘅。呢一句呢，係可以由 set up 一同埋四呢去得出嘅，因為你會發現啦。喺 set up one 同埋 set up four 底下呢，原來個 o x y 啦，由 A 去 B 向下走，由 A 去 B 向上走，都係可以嘅。咁即係話啦，佢唔會一味向下走啦，係咪？咁所以第一句呢係正確嘅。第二句喎，生長素嘅移動呢，就係、是、牽涉咗一啲主動運輸嘅情況。咁啊呢一句啦，虽然佢本身自己系啱，但係喺幅图嗰树，你睇唔睇得出？究竟佢要唔要能量呢？又真係睇唔出。你可以见到佢係向上行又得，向下行又得，但係当中有冇能量嘅传送呢？唔知道。你有冇试过将嗰棵植物摆喺一个可能啊冇氧气嘅环境，令佢做唔到需氧呼吸，释放唔到足够嘅能量？從而就傳送唔到個生長素呢，你冇做過任何嘢，所以啦，第二句呢係不得而知嘅。到第三句呢，就牽涉個方向喎。生長素嘅運輸呢，主要就係由 A 去 B 嘅。誒、哎，我哋就發現啦，比較返一四同埋二三，我哋發現啦，一四 A 去 B 向上向下都係可取嘅。相反啦，二三呢由 B 去 A 呢，都係不能夠發生嘅。咁即係第三句呢。都係正確，咁所以答案咧就係 boy 一三啦。Question twenty eight is about the experiment to investigate the transport of oxygen in the slam of a young stealing. We cut a part of the stem of the young stealing, and then a plain algae block and a algae block shook in the radioactive labeled oxygen were prepared and placed at different ends of the cut end. For example, A B A B upright and B A B A inverted. And the question also reminds you that the relative amount of the radioactivity in different parts are shown as the different intensities of the shaded area. So you can see that if the shaded area is in darker color, so it means that it contains more oxygen. It asks us to draw the conclusion based on the observation. So the critical concept in this question is that we need to know what do we observe, and it is the dependent variable. Is the movement of the oxygen or the transport of the oxygen? Since we are going to draw the conclusion, so let's take a look at the observation first. So in setup one and four, so you can find that the oxygen can move from the position A to the position B, position A to the position B, either downwards or upwards is still possible. And in the setup two and three, so you can find that the oxygen cannot move from B to A. From B to A, no matter for going upwards or downwards, is not possible. So let's take a look at the options. Transport of the oxygen in the stem is not affected by the gravity. This conclusion can be drawn from the setup one and four. So you can see that the oxygen can either move upwards and downwards. So that means the oxygen can go against the gravity. It will not be always going down. So statement one is correct. And for statement two, transport of the oxygen in the stem involves an active process. This conclusion may be correct itself. 
However, the result did not show any energy required activities. Did we perform the investigation like this? We put the young stealing in an anaerobic situation and try to stop the aerobic respiration to reduce the energy production and then to stop some energy required activities. We did not do so. So that's why we cannot conclude that the transport of the oxygen required energy. So that's why option two is wrong. And for option three, transport of the oxygen in the stem mainly take place from A and B. So we can compare the result from setup at one and four and the result from setup two and three. So we can see that for the setup one and four, the oxygen can move from A to B downwards and from A to B upwards. And for setup two and three, we cannot see the movement of the oxygen from B to A. So that's why statement three is also correct. So that's why the answer is boy.